What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I am doing a full day of eating today. Also, I need to go to the grocery store because I realize I'm like almost completely out of food. So I'm gonna take you along for that and also kind of explain my mindset when I go grocery shopping because I know I've been talking about doing a grocery guide for a while now and I just really haven't had time to get to it. Just as a lot of things are going on, I like as I've said many times, I'm working a lot of hours lately trying to save up money to move to LA and my move is in, I think about three weeks, maybe less than three weeks, so lots of stuff going on. I haven't really had time to sit down and work on my grocery guide, but I do kind of want to talk about just like how I grocery shop because I know that's one of the like most intimidating things when you first start living like a plant-based lifestyle or a vegan lifestyle is just like how do I go about completely restructuring my diet and like you know grocery shopping is something we usually do without even thinking and now you go into a grocery store and you don't even know where to start so I'm gonna break that down for you today also I don't have any supplements right now I don't have any protein powders or anything like that so it's also gonna be a full day of eating without supplements and I'm not gonna pick any up at the store because I actually usually order mine online but um, I do have a company sending me some protein powders right now to try out that I'll probably talk about in my next video because I don't have them yet um, but I'm excited to try those out it's one of the first companies that's actually like offered to send me free supplements to try out completely vegan of course um, I think they're raw protein powders so really interested to see how that turns out but that'll be probably in the next video because I don't really know when they're gonna get here so yeah I am making a tofu scramble right now it kind of looks like popcorn <laughs> uh, but it's three servings of tofu with a little bit of nutritional yeast garlic salt and the everything bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's that I'm obsessed with that I put in everything um, and I'm doing three servings of tofu because usually I eat about two uh, but I don't have supplements like I said so I do need to get a little bit more protein in elsewhere today so three servings is about 24 grams of protein in the tofu and then I'm gonna have some other stuff with it that'll help boost that up a bit so here's the finished product I have a little piece of sourdough toast with some earth balance on it and I'm trying to drink like two or three of these hydro flasks every day I really struggle with my water intake so this is actually gonna be more of a challenge than you think washing machine is making a ton of noise in the background. I just have to get my work clothes washed because I got called into work today and I have to go in like an hour. So I just got back home. I have everything here laid out on the counter. I'm going to explain it to you. But um, first I just want to kind of go through the five main categories I use to divide my grocery shopping. And just kind of visualize how I'm going to attack the grocery stores. Have my fruits and vegetables, my starches, my protein sources, my snack food, and my extras. So I pretty much everything I get can fit into those five main categories and uh, I'm just gonna go through it like that. Start with the fruits and vegetables. I eat mostly broccoli in terms of vegetables. Like, I kid you not, I don't really like a ton of vegetables, but I love broccoli, so I always have like a couple different packs of broccoli. Sometimes I go for green beans. I really don't mix it up that much. Every once in a while I'll get some bok choy, but broccoli is my go-to. It's just like a really good green vegetable for you. I always have strawberries, I love strawberries, and during stone fruit season I'll have peaches and apriums and plums and all that jazz. I think I have some Apriums in the fridge right now, but I really really love fruit So I eat a ton of fruit mangoes pineapple all that jazz avocado because avocado toast and avocado on sandwiches is always good Trader Joe's often has a crappy avocado, so I get mine at Safeway number two the starches I've been really into barley lately like super into barley lately And this is really cheap at Trader Joe's so I've been getting a lot of these uh, you can also just grab rice um, I'll grab potatoes a lot of times or sweet potatoes. That's really nice um, I kind of consider this to be a snack or kind of a part of my starches. I always use this during breakfast or I'll put this on top of my bananas. Oh, forgot about that. I usually get bananas at Trader Joe's. I wait until they get a little bit old and then I freeze them in the freezer. So I have a ton of bananas in there right now. I'll blend that up and I'll put this on top for breakfast. Um, and sometimes I mix this uh, with the barley and some other fruits and make a little snack. I'll do that after this whole thing. I'll have that as a snack today just so I can show you. Um, and I think that's about it for the starches. My snack haul right now is pretty big. <laughs> These are new to Trader Joe's. I haven't seen these before until last week and I tried them and they're actually pretty tasty. This one has a little peanut butter filling in it. I talk about these all the time, the Go Macro Bars. They have like 10 to 12 grams of protein in them and they sell these two flavors at Trader Joe's. They are a staple in my diet. I always, always have them on hand. And then I found these. These are amazing. I found these at Safeway today. I was so excited. I was, oh, I almost screamed, I swear to God. Um, there's 16 grams of protein per cookie. It's kind of like Lenny and Larry's where the, like, the cookie is basically two servings, but I eat a whole serving, and they're actually way better than Lenny and Larry. The brand is Nugo. I know you can find them at Whole Foods most of the time, but now they're coming to Safeway, so that's awesome. 
marshmallows just because I like to have like one or two of these at night sometimes if I'm like really craving a sweet. And these ones are the Trader Joe's brand and they are vegan right there. Really nice to have easily accessible vegan marshmallows. Most of the time they have gelatin in them so these ones are much better. And then chocolate chips because I always put chocolate chips in my oatmeal or my waffles or my pancakes, something like that. And they're just good to have on hand because I need chocolate. <laughs> and I guess you could kind of consider this to be part of the fruit pile because they have nothing else in them but mango, but I just use these as a snack at work when I'm like really, really hungry and need something, need some carbs to get me through my shift. Get the unsweetened kind if you can, just because you don't really need the extra sugar that they coat the other mangoes in. I mean, if you want a really sweet treat, then why not? Like, go for it. But I think they're perfect as is. And like, if you're used to eating the sweetened ones, switching to these is actually super easy. So I completely forgot to talk about protein, which is probably what everybody wants to know about. So I'll just touch on it here. I always have one to two packs of tofu in my fridge at all times. I get it every time I go to the grocery store just because it's a staple. Even though the protein content is pretty low, it's just like a great protein source and very versatile. I always have those tofurkey vegan sausages or the field roast sausages as well. You can get the field roast ones at Safeway and most other grocery stores. I always find tofurkey at Trader Joe's, but it only comes in that one flavor, Italian, so you can get tired of it pretty quick. But both of them have anywhere between like 23 and 28 grams of protein in them, which is awesome. And I also love the beefless ground beef from Trader Joe's, which is super versatile, easy to put in other meals, and easy to put in pasta. So those are my main three fake meat or like meat substitute protein sources, but I I also often have beans like garbanzo beans and black beans because they're pretty high in protein as well and they're easy to mix into meals so yeah that's usually how I get most of my protein. And then the extras, so I love Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese, I talk about that all the time. And then this was the cheese that I picked up at Safeway. Um, this is the best vegan cheese that you can get, hands down in my opinion. You can melt it, you can put it on a sandwich, everything. I always talk about these two products as vegan dairy alternatives. And I've been super into these lately, I think I have these in another video. I've just been mixing it with the vanilla almond creamer that I have and some ice and they're really like nice and sweet and tasty even though these are unsweetened. Kind of helps me drink a little bit more water throughout the day just because these are mostly water it's just unsweetened tea so that's nice and then this also has been helping me drink more water throughout the day the mint watermelon flavored black tea from Trader Joe's this is kind of sweet and I think the flavor actually comes more from the licorice than anything but it's actually really really tasty I put two bags of this in my hydro flask and then a couple little drops of stevia it helps me just chug my water and this is definitely an extra it's not necessary in your diet but um, I like to put this on top of pancakes or oatmeal or just something to make it look nice and fancy and it's unsweetened as well because I really don't need added sugar in my life. Same goes for the uh, soy milks. I switch back and forth between these two. If I have a protein powder in my life at the moment then I'm okay with getting the cashew milk because it's really not that high in protein but it's unsweetened, doesn't have any extra sugar and it's really low calorie. It's just nice to have to like mix things with but if I don't have protein powder and I am at a point where I need extra protein in my life I will go for the soy milk. It has usually about six to seven grams of protein per cup and you can also get it in the unsweetened version as I always do. So that's the grocery haul for today. I know it's not like a ton of stuff. It really just depends on what I'm craving and kind of like what I need in my diet. And I do go to the grocery store pretty often. I go like one or two times a week just because I enjoy going. And if Matt needs to go, my boyfriend, uh, then I'll go with him just for fun and maybe pick up a couple things I need. I did a little bit of his grocery shopping today too. That's about it. uniform. Hi, I'm Megan. I work at Brookside Country Club. Um, I'm really excited to not work at a country club anymore. That'll be great. I'm gonna still probably be a server when I move down to LA, but I just just really need to get out of country club life because just... I didn't really have time to eat much during my shift. I was only here for about four and a half hours, but I, I had a couple garlic fries uh, that the bartender like 
got made for the rest of the stuff, but that was about it. So I'm gonna eat one of the cute little snacks that I picked up from uh, Trader Joe's today. It says about 10 grams of protein in it, super cute. It's really easy to have snacks like this for me at work because it's just like two or three bites, gives me a little bit more energy, especially in the middle of a shift where I'm running around. I can't sit down and eat. I literally have to have something that I can go like one bite. Boom, go, done. Uh, today wasn't that crazy though, so, and I really wasn't that hungry because I snacked a bit on the garlic fries. So, I'm gonna eat this right now. I'll probably have a full meal in about an hour or two. And uh, yeah, it's like 4.30 now. So, have like a bigger-ish dinner at about, probably about six o'clock. And uh, yeah, that's it for right now. I'll show you all the pretty colors before I go and I cover this in a bunch of sauce. This is just vegan mayonnaise, sriracha, and a little bit of water just to give it a little bit more flavor and sauciness. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps support me and I really enjoy making these videos. And once I hit 1,000 subscribers, it's a pretty big deal. I can finally monetize my channel and that'll help me make more videos, help more people go plant-based, and overall just kind of like make the world a better place. So yeah, thanks for watching.